Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, September 8th, we'll talk about the book of uh, Amos. Amos 3, 2 says, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Remember, God always warns us before he punishes us because we are his children and uh, every time we do something wrong, he wants to punish us and get get us back to his root. Amos, whose name means burden bearer, was a native of the small town of Tekoa in uh, Judean Hills, about 10 miles south of Jerusalem. Amos lives up to the meaning of his name by bearing the divinely given burden of declaring judgment to rebellious Israel. His ministry was between 760 to 750 BC. Amos prophesied during a period of national optimism in Israel. Business was booming and boundaries were bulging. But below the surface, greed and injustice were increasing, which God can't tolerate. Hypocritical religious motions had replaced true worship. They had a false sense of security and rejected God's disciplining hand. Famine brought plagues, death, destruction, nothing could force the people to their repentance. The proportion of judgment compared to hope and blessing is higher in Amos than in the other prophecy books. Only the last five verses offer a word of consolation and promise. Amos, the country farmer turned prophet, lashes out at sin unflinchingly, trying to visualize the nearness of God's judgment and mobilize the nation to repentance. The nation, like a basket of rotting fruit, stood ripe for judgment because of hypocrisy and spiritual indifference and refusing to listen to God. Amos stretches, stresses that uh, righteousness and justice are essential to a healthy society. Religion is more than observing feast days and holding sacred assemblies. True religion demands righteous living. The way a man treats his neighbor reveals his relationship with God. We should always remember this. God wants us to be loving to others. Jesus Christ gave us only two, um, policy, uh, two things that we should uh, follow. One is love your God and second is love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus said the greatest command is love, love God. The second is to love our neighbor as ourselves. This is the message of Amos and it is needed today. We are also living in a prosperous materialistic society, but there is gospel poverty everywhere. Material prosperity often leads to religious and moral corruption. God demands our obedience in meeting the needs of our fellow human beings. In the present uh, conditions around us, God expects all his children to help others who are in need of help and thus spread his love to the others. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us about what all mistakes that we are doing in our lives and help us to leave all the bad things, evil things and come back to you with repentant heart. Please help us, Lord. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.